pierwotnie dobór odporności I was diagnosed with primary immunodeficiency when I was six. On my birthday I was taken to hospital in a critical condition dying. After another severe case of pneumonia and there the doctors made the diagnosis exile. For my parents it sounded like a death sentence while then the doctors saved me from death. The previous six years of my life had been a never-ending streak of severe diseases, infections, with many weeks at hospital, antibiotics that hadn't helped. Only after the diagnosis could I start a more or less normal life. The diagnosis allowed the doctors to start treatment. I started to get antibodies, first intravenously, then after a few years, subcutaneously. Then I was ill less often. The late diagnosis resulted in developing numerous chronic diseases. Apart from immunodeficiency, I had bronchiactix, chronic sinusitis, chronic bronchitis and fibrosis of one of the lung lobes. It disturbs my everyday life, undoubtedly. All of those diseases make my life of a normal 20-year-old something man impossible. I've had to battle them every day by either sinus rinsing or inhalation to the lungs. Most likely, had the doctors known about immunodeficiency earlier, I wouldn't have had to go through all of this. Although primary immunodeficiency disturbs my everyday life, I try to live a normal life as far as possible. Enjoy my life to the full. I study law at the University of Silesia and I'm also active in the Immunoprotect Association. I try to help other patients with immunodeficiencies. Until 2008, I was treated with intravenous antibodies. I don't have too many good memories of that period. The intravenous infusions are very long. I had to be in hospital two or three days a month. Then I felt very bad. I had several anaphylactic shocks. For a few days after the antibody administration, I couldn't manage. The intravenous infusions hadn't been natural to my veins, as after 10 or so years of constant pricking, they weren't usable. Nurses weren't able to insert new cannulas. This ended up with several painful and stressful attempts to insert them. The record was beaten when I was around 10. Then they tried cannulation 11 or 12 times. In 2008, I started on the subcutaneous administration, and this in fact changed my life. I started to be ill less often. My antibody blood levels were higher by 100% than before. I gave myself antibodies at my own home, so I could plan my day as I wish. Most often, I do it at weekends, thus I don't lose my days at work or at the university. It isn't linked with prolonged stays in hospital. I've never seen the disease as some kind of death sentence, something that won't allow me to live. For me, the disease has some value. It gives me an impression that I matured more quickly. I learned how to overcome difficulties, those everyday ones, those more serious ones. I live with the awareness that my being on earth will be shorter, certainly less comfortable as well. This somehow helps me to find the sense in everything. Also being active in the association, my help to other patients helps me to fulfill myself. It gives me a great satisfaction.